tea is one of the most popular drinks in Russia. Everybody drinks tea. In this video, I will talk about beverages in Rus before introduction of tea, how tea appeared in Russia and why it is an important part of Russian culture. Before introduction of tea in Russia, traditional beverages were called zvare. Zvare were liquors made from herbs and berries, which were collected mostly in the European part of Russia and then dried. Every region has its own beverages, depending on local flora. Another popular beverage was kvas, fermented cereal-based low-alcoholic beverage with a slightly cloudy appearance, light brown color and sweet sour taste. Don't forget about kisel, a fruit drink consisting of the sweetened juice of berries thickened with corn or potato starch. Tea came to Russia from China which was a monopolist on tea export in the world. In 1638, tea was brought to Mikhail Fyodorovich, the first Tsar from Romanov dynasty, as a gift. But until late 17th century, tea was only used as a medicine in Russia. There were two tea types in Russia. Caravan type, brought by land, a long famous Silk Road, and the Canton, which was brought by sea, to Europe and then to Russia. Tea imports continued to grow. By the end of the 18th century, tea was 30% of all Russian imports from China. But by the middle of the 19th century, it was 90%. In the 18th century, tea was so expensive, like any other foreign good, that only rich people could buy it. But soon after, peasants and other low classes could afford tea. Interestingly, Russians drank tea from the plate, not from the cup, because the tea was so hot in the cup, they pour a little bit down to the plate and drank from it. Drinking tea in Russia was not as ceremonial as in the East Asia, but people drank tea with lots of sweets and snacks. Even in the poor households, people drank tea with bread. Tea was packed in the wooden chest with a lock and was considered as a good present. Even nowadays, you can find tea in gift boxes sold in the supermarkets. The most important attribute for drinking tea was samovar, a vessel for heating water, which became a symbol of Russia. From the 18th century, people served cookies, pies, and pancakes with tea, as well as dried fruits, milk, and butter. In the 19th century, Russians served sugar, raisin, chocolate candies, waffle, biscuits, and marmalade. Despite of trade development, tea transportation from China was relatively expensive. Thus, on Russian markets, people could find fake tea made from Caucasus herbs. After Bolshevik Revolution in 1917, tea imports were disrupted for several decades. For many years, Soviet people drank tea grown in Caucasus plantations. In the second half of the 20th century, the tea import uh, was allowed it, and Soviet tea was mixed with Indian and Sri Lanka's tea. Now, people can find different types of tea in the supermarkets. The prices vary depending on quality and brand. The cheapest one is approximately 70 rubles, which is $1.13. The most expensive tea is around 720 rubles, which is approximately $11.64.